Well, yeah, I have it. Did you turn off the volume? Or have the music going? You don't hear anything? Yeah, I can hear it. I just can't hear it through your earphones. Let me... What if I did that? Did that... Do you hear it? Maybe you're gonna pull. Okay, so I can hear myself. Perfect! Okay, I'm gonna... What if I do this? this? Can you still hear? If I turn this down... Can you hear me? Like, does the music sound too loud? Sorry, guys. I'm having my husband check the volume for me. Hold on. <laughs> so, does the music sound louder than me? Turn the mic down? Turn the mic. Well, I'm going to be, like, right here up against it. See, because of... See, it's... I hear an echo. Well, that might be. Is it this? Should I turn off the music? Off? You know, I think I might have to actually turn the, the sound off. Because you can see, you hear the echo. No, that can't be it. Hold on, I'm going to press a button. Hold on, I'm going to press it. Come back here. I'm going to press this button. What if I go to here? Okay, and I press this button. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah, see, I just that crazy. I hear echo. What if I do this? Did the button help? Is it still, is it still echoing? Dad, nab it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna we're just gonna just it's because it's Mac they don't you know with this what if I do this I show you audio capture no 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 play this my mic so what if I do this <laughs> I'm gonna go like this okay you gotta and then see if that helped it's a lag See if you can still hear the echo after that. Did, did that work? Is it still echoing? It doesn't sound like it helped. Dak! No, I'm not ready yet. It needs to be, we need to create the illusion that we're professional, so when I turn on the camera, it'll be like, hi, guys, you know, like, they won't even know. I mean, the stream is going. No, the mic is on, no, 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 it's not on here, it's on here. It's just, I had to just go to my built-in speaker. No, I'm not ready yet, it needs to be, we need to create the illusion. I have to go to, like, my actual, like, it'll stop, watch. Let me see. You using OBS? Yeah. <laughs> okay, now let's see. It should sound better. <laughs> Is it? I hear myself through your phone because my. I'm. It's echoing. I hear myself through your phone. 
Oh man. Here, get get out the office. Let me see. No, it's not oh, my phone. Have... No, I don't have I'm not live here. Oh, okay. It's all it's it's my stupid computer. Hmm. You know what? I tried. I'm tried. May have to close out and start again. Jelly beans. What if I press this button? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. See, it should be fine. We'll try now. Thank you, Faye. Thank you for helping me. I'll let you finish your, your homework. You don't have to watch it anymore. <laughs> I'm about to start it now. It's okay. I got this. Hi! <laughs> Welcome to the stream, everybody! Hello! I wanted to have music going in the background, like how other people were, and be all, like, professional and stuff, but that wasn't happening, so here we are. Hold on. I got eyelash in my eye. But hi, everybody! Thank you for helping me, despite the hiccups and stopping by the stream. Hopefully the echo is gone. If not, we will figure something else out with the next stream. For now, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but it shouldn't... My eyeball... Ugh. It's this wig, the hair gets into it. Today I wanted to show you guys how I pose 3D models. Like, I'm going to show you guys, like, the posing. Here's my sketch that I want to do, that I have, that I want to base a 3D model off of. Um, and, and, and then we're just going to like clean up this sketch afterwards, but it's just going to be a chill draw with me kind of, kind of live stream. I'm just going to stream for about an hour. So I'll end right now it's 12.06 and I'll end at like 1.06 or so. Cause I got some work I got to do, but I wanted to do a live stream on my YouTube. But hi everyone. Hi, hi, hi. Look. Oh, I need to go live on Inst Should I go live on Instagram? I'll save Instagram for another day. Because I need my light to be a certain way. So we'll just go live on Instagram maybe later. Still echoey for me. Jelly beans. What did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Um, What if I go to here? Give me a second. I'm smart. I'm smart. What if I do that? Does that sound better? Super, super secret project. Exactly. This is for the super, super secret project. But let me know if that helps, like, sound better. Because, unless, what does this button do? What does that button do? Wait a second. Wait a second. What if I delete this thing? What happens if I take it away? Okay, I'm, I'm about to push a button, and we will see what happens, okay? One, two, three, click. Yes. It did nothing. Oh, no. I don't know what it did. What if I do this? What if I still echoey, but it's okay? It's not okay. <laughs> I'm sad. <laughs> you sound fine to me. <laughs> My computer eats me. A bit better? It's a bit better? It's better? Oh, did, it's the same, but it's okay. Are you guys sure you're not just saying that just to make me feel better and to hurry up and just draw? <laughs> you think I'd, I'd be smarter by now. It's the same, but it's okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry, guys. We'll keep on fin fin finagling with... With OBS, because it's just, OBS, why you got to be like that? What if I press this button? I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. I'm gonna, Okay, what's that button do? That's output. What about input? Input is my mic. Yes, input is mic. What do you have in your audio mixer on OBS? I have my mic uh, connected to the properties. And for my input, I have my razor mic. And then for my output, I have my internal speakers. What if I click this button for output? Has, nope, it doesn't work. Okay. What if I click this button? Nope, doesn't work. Okay. We love you, it's fine. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. But yeah, I, I have my, my mic. 
Okay, properties. Yep, Razer mic. I'm set to OK. And advanced audio properties. I don't know what any of that means. What is that button? I don't know what that is. Don't know. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's it's fine. We're just going to just... We're just... Let me show you how to post 30 models. <laughs> we'll just have to deal with it for now. And then we'll figure it out. I'll figure it. I'm going to figure it out. We'll just do it after stream. But anyways, this is what I do when I'm posing my 3D models. I go to my 3D models in the material selection. Now, if you don't know where like the arrow is at in Clip Studio Paint, you can go to Windows. No. Yes. Yes. You go to Windows. You go to Material. And then just click any one of these buttons and it'll pop up. Again, do not judge me when you see the poses I have, but I'm not going to let you see it because I'm going to zoom past. But don't be trying to save the video. Oh, zoom past. <laughs> but don't be trying to save the video to see what poses I have. But anyways, I go ahead, I go to the entire body, and I take it, and I drag it, and I drop it. Now, sometimes I like to find poses that look like close to what I'm already working on. So that one's not going to do. Hold on, let me move my canvas up. This, there we go. We're going to move it up. We're going to move it closer so you guys can see. Make sure you guys can see on my computer screen. Perfect. Okay. And we go here. Let me make sure I can still see my... Everything's everything's good, Shereen. Calm down. So, I'm going to find a pose that's kind of... This is a basic standing. <laughs> that's what Jayhan's doing. He's just standing. Okay, good. Next, what I do, I'm going to move this over. So I'm just going to click on this one right here and move it over. Again, if you don't want to use 3D models, you don't have to. It's a free world. Do whatever's going to make you happy. Do whatever, like, fills your tank and brings you joy when you're creating, you know? For me, that's using 3D models. I'm a very... And then sometimes it's like, I'm not going to use any 3D models. I use whatever I want, you know? I just go with the flow. Go with the flow. After I've moved it over, now I'm, I want, there's two different ways that I can go about posing him. I mean, just scooch him back just a smidgen. Make sure he is level to the ground. Okay, he is. I'm going to bring you back forward. No, no, we're going to actually smooch you back a little bit more. So what I'm going to do next, I like to manually go in and adjust each body part. Uh, like the proportions. So I can select his hip. And right here, you see, in the edit area, the tool property right there, you see, right here, the tool property, I can select the chest. And I'm going to actually, with Jayhan, he has a taller trunk. And let's see. I want it a little... Oh, my God. Is it at the fast? Because my computer's just lagging a smidgen. Clip Studio Paint, why are you doing this? <laughs> it's lagging. Look at the lag. Okay. And then I'm going to go to his arms. I'm going to select the arms. And we're just going to... See, this is what happens when you have an 8 gigabyte RAM computer. Next time, I'm getting like a 16 to 64 gigabyte RAM computer. That way, I can have like multiple programs open and I don't have to worry about the lag. But right now, it's lagging. It's lagging. Are you guys still there with me? It didn't shut off, did it? <laughs> but any hoodles, I'm going to go over here to these arms. I'm going to make them thicker. Oops, that's thinner. I don't want them longer. Okay, we're going to make it thicker. And then his hips. I like to give the guys... Well, Jayhan has thicker hips. Like, it has a thicker hip. Why? Just because I, I like. I like the style. Okay, and then for the legs. Babe, is the stream still going okay? Like the sound? Oh, man. You're good. We're fine. Okay, good. <laughs> the 3D interface looks interesting. Yeah, it's really nice. I like it. That's why I really like that about. Oops. My heating pad. I really like that about Clip Studio Paint. The 3D interface that's just built in. So for the legs, I like to make them a little taller. A little thicker. 
Like, so, just a smidgen. That's how Jaehwan's legs are. And then for Jaehwan's neck, I like to make it longer and a little thicker. This is not following any actual proportion mathematics and, you know, mathematical equations. This is literally just, like, personal preference. <laughs> just personal preference. So it's like, logically, it's like, that's not how bodies are sharing. Yes, but they are going to be like that way today. I'm going to actually widen his shoulders. Widen. I like the wider shoulder look, too. Come on, move to widen a little more. Let's see how that looks. Okay, we got that. Now, when I'm posing my 3D models, I like to keep the purple dots. I don't like doing the precision editor, which is like this. I don't like doing that because I don't like doing that all the time because it can be difficult. It's very advanced. I think it's very advanced. So what I like to do, I just keep the purple dots there and I will just click, click again, click one more time. There we go. Come back in here. Put, 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 put that back. Put it back. My computer is lying. There we go. Good job. Okay. So I use the purple dots. Let me just save this and then open it back up because Clip Studio Paint is just, it's lagging on me. Give me one second. I'm going to go to the white screen so that you guys aren't like, not that I have anything bad on my computer screen, I don't, but I'm just going to go over here real quick. Hold on. I got to restart, reset my, got to reset, re reopen Clip Studio Paint because it's being stupid. It's being stupid. I have one terabyte, but I have no idea what that means. <laughs> that might be your... If, if, so for the eight gigabytes of RAM, that's more so the CPU, I think. I'm, I'm, I'm a very basic girl, so I might be wrong. But the, uh, RAM is how much space or energy my computer is willing to give to each program that is open. So for Clip Studio Paint, it needs, I believe, like four gigabytes of RAM. And for like Spotify, <laughs> It also needs, I think, like four gigabytes of RAM or two gigabytes of RAM, I think. I don't know. And then for my OBS, I think it also needs like two or four. So I'm already running at like the max amount of RAM, I think, which it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're going to figure this out. It's fine. Okay. I got it back open. Okay. We're back. Hopefully it's not lagging anymore. I don't know that it's good enough. But yeah, so um, I but I do have the one terabyte of memory, but I do need to upgrade my computer just because I use, I stream and I draw at the same time and I like to play music. So I have like three programs that are kind of chunky going at the same time. If you're just like watching videos or just like using Clip Studio Paint by itself, if you're not like running like three programs at once, you might have like your program and your browser open. 8 gigabytes would have been perfectly fine. But for me, I'm just doing the most and I have multiple programs open at once that all require energy. So I need a I need a higher gigabyte. So I'll definitely share share some of my finds with you guys just to help you guys if you're like, well, I want to end up what computer should I get for my digital comics or drawing and whatnot. I want to hopefully help you guys find it because that information is kind of hard to find because it's so specific. Like not every, I wouldn't, when I first started off with drawing digitally, I don't really need <laughs> an eight gigabyte computer because I'm just opening, I'm just working on one simple software. So a four gigabyte computer would have been fine. But now that I'm older and I'm doing more stuff, using more softwares at the same time, I need more, I need more CPU. <laughs> have you ever tried blender i i'm not much of a 3d modeler i'm more of a person who will prefer using the 3d models that clip studio paint already creates <laughs> and yeah i'm like do it for me let me use that model that you got right there so that's why i like clip studio paint but i mean i'd be interested i think in testing out blender but i just the building of the 3d models i haven't gotten to that level yet i just I just need a doll to draw on. <laughs> That's all. Stacy, hello. This is so helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Roxy, memory. Exactly. Like memory. I don't know the technical technical stuff to it, but yes, the memory. Let me make sure I'm scrolled up so you guys can see. There we go. So I use the purple dots 
And now I'm just going to turn his whole body using my little orange things. My little orange. It turns orange, but it's green. Okay. I'm going to actually next. His hip kind of goes out. Like, it's like pushed out like that. So I'm going to click this one. And let's see what happens. Again, I'm a very like, huh, I wonder what happens if I do this. wonder what happens if I do that. I'm okay to make mistakes. To a certain degree. I'm not too afraid to try. Oh, okay, so I'm going to use this green arrow. And what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn his hip. Yeah, I like that. And then this foot. I'm going to click this purple thing. And I'm going to actually bring it over. Like how my sketch is. Okay, not too far over. We're going to try to keep the balance. And I'm going to bring this foot over like that. And then I'm actually going to go back to this one. Let's see what happens if I turn his leg out no I think I no it, I want to end I want to end I want to push that back out like that yeah I like that it's like Shereen why don't you just use the sketch you have I want to make his thighs chunkier <laughs> so I'm using the 3D model how do you draw clothes what do you mean <laughs> um if you could specify what do you mean how, how do I draw clothes I, I, how, what do you mean? <laughs> I want to be helpful, so I, so I ask. <laughs> I have really decent PC because I need it for my, yeah, what PC do you, what kind, what amount of RAM do you use for yours? I actually draw in Blender now since the grease pencil tool came out. Oh, yeah, I saw some people like using that now. But yeah, um, uh, Zenetsu, if you can let me know like specifically what, what like you mean by how do you draw clothes? Because like the reason why I ask is, if I were to answer that the way my brain is comprehending it, it's like, well, here's my stick figure, and here's their body, here's their arms, and then here's their body. It's like, well, their, their trunk. How do I draw clothes? Well, I want to put a sweater on him, so I put a sweater here, I do a collar, I do the lines, and then I do, like, we got our, when you look at, you got this part of your shirt, so I use reference, but I, I do that seam right here, and I put that seam there like I do have, I have on my shirts, and then I just put the arm sleeve, and then I just, I look at reference, and that's how I draw clothes. I don't know if I'm in, but I don't think that's what you're asking. So if you could, like, specify. If you're wondering, like, how I draw wrinkles, I do use, I do Y's, and, and I do, like, these things it looks like a p so use wise p's in those type of letters to do wrinkles for for my clothes if that's what you're wondering but i don't have much method to my madness wherever the armpits at or wherever stuff is at where the clothes on my own body is squeezing i'll put like a u there like right here there's like a little a tight u see there's like a tight u right there and then like right here I've seen other, like, comics where they have, like, a wrinkle right here. And it's like, I like that wrinkle. I don't know why that wrinkle is there. I'm not going to worry about why that wrinkle is there. I like how it looks. So I put the wrinkle there as well. <laughs> I'm a very, um, what do you call it? I'm a very type of vibey type artist. I like it. I add it. <laughs> I've got a 16 gigabyte RAM, but I'm, uh, oh, you're going to be doing the 32 gigabytes soon. So next question, what about your Intel processor? Cause I have like a, or not your Intel processor, but your processor. I have an I Intel i5. I'm thinking about going up to an Intel i9 because I want, I think that might also help with my computing abilities so that my Okay, I'm going to see what happens if I jet his hip out. No, that's going left to right. I don't want left to right. I'm going to actually move him forward by clicking the blue ones. This one's right in the center. You can't see it, but it just turned orange. I'm going to... No, come forward. Forward. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Just very ever so slightly. And then we're going to... No, we want your weight to go on this one. No, you know, put it back. Stay in center. There we go. Click the purple dot again. What happens if I do... What do I do about... Oh, this does... This this is what brings it out. Okay. I want that hip thrust. 
I want the hip thrust. And then we're going to lean him more. And then we're going to turn his waist out a little bit like that. I like. So you see the purple dots? They're beautiful. I like them. I'm going to go up to this purple dot in his chest. And I can go in and manually adjust this part of his hip. But we're not going to worry about that right now. But this is literally how I pose my 3D models. I just, I use the purple dots. They're so easy for me. And they move everything for me. Oh, I like the chest cave in. I like that look. What happens if I do this? No, let's put you back. What happens if I do this? Uh, I guess that's okay. Well, what happens if I do this? What are you doing? Oh, you're leaning back. What if, what if I go forward? No, lean back. Lean back. We want a cool guy pose. What if I do this? No, go the other way. Lean your shoulders back the other way. Okay, I like. So yeah, that's how I go about just posing. I just use the purple dots. I can go in and use the precision editor, but again, it, it can be somewhat advanced. And, and it can be a little bit overwhelming. And with the purple dots, it just, the computer thinks and logicalizes it for me when I move stuff around. <laughs> if that makes any sense. But yeah. Definitely get that i9. Okay, good. Then, yeah, that's what the next one I'm going to upgrade to is an i9 because this i5, ooh, it's, it's, it's something different. It's not doing what I want it to do because I have some um, 3D models that I got from Akon that they had sponsored for a collaboration, and I can't even get it into um, after I export it from SketchUp into an OBJ file. I can't even get it into Clip Studio Paint because my computer just freezes because it's just like, what are you doing? This is too big for my capability. So I'm definitely in the future, I'm going to upgrade. Because I know some artists just like take screen captures of the 3D backgrounds that they add into SketchUp. But I want them into Clip Studio Paint. I want I want the files into Clip Studio Paint. So I use this. I use this. <laughs> I like exporting the 3D files as OBJs or FBX and then importing them into Clip Studio Paint that way. That way I can drag and drop my models into the scene and like move them around. I can use my camera preset and I can just like legit just move stuff around easier that way. So everything is just beautiful. Not that it's ugly, but everything is just, just so simplistic and just easy for my brain. Okay, so now I'm going to use this and I'm going to turn his wrist in a little bit more. Like so. And, hmm. This shoulder, I'm going to actually, it's not going to look exactly like how my sketch looks because my sketch isn't following any kind of mathematics. It's, it's just a sketch. <laughs> Whereas this 3D model follows like, math so it's like mathematically this is correct and it's like okay so it's not going to look exactly like my sketch but if i can get i need that hand okay i'm going to change the hand i'm going to actually tap the hand i'm going to go back to my materials again you can find materials by clicking windows material and then just click anything there and then go to the 3d area we'll go to 3d pose and hand i just have this one hand selected because i just want to change that hand you know Computer talk makes brain explode. Wish I was good at that stuff or even understood it. Don't worry. Yeah. You don't need to worry about that. If you're just like, just you just want to draw digital art, any computer that's budget friendly is just fine. As long as you got four gigabytes for the RAM, you should be fine. And if you're like, I don't know what that means, as long as your computer is in your budget and you're just trying to, you know, just draw whatever, any computer will do. You could even use your phone. You ain't got to worry about the technicalities. Only when you, you know, want to start getting into, like, the heavier hitting stuff. You know, then, then we could talk about that. But for now, if you're just starting out or you just want to draw, don't worry about any of that. Ooh. Just, just find you a good computer in your budget. I mean, you could technically do whichever you want. My advice, <laughs> I might be leading you down the wrong road. <laughs> but, yeah, no worries. No worries, you ain't got no all, all of that computer jumbo to be able to draw digitally. You ain't got to do all that. It's good. Okay. 
I'm looking at hands. See, when I don't have it selected, it changes both hands. I don't want that because this hand's going to be in his pocket. So I'm going to select the hand and then drag it over there. And then it changes. Nope, don't want that one. What about this one? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little still congested. Well, it's running, so it figures I'm okay. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Now, I could go manually in and adjust each and every individual piece of this this hand. I don't want to do that. That doesn't bring me joy right now at this moment. I just want to find a hand and just go with that one. Uh, nope, don't want that one. Let's see. And if I can't find what I want, then I'm just going to go ahead and just move that knuckle how I wanted it to look. Okay, that's good. No, I don't like how those two fingers are out. Put it back. Select. And then let's see what happens. Ooh, what does this one look like? Mm. Mm -mm. I want the thumb in. And I could move the thumb in. But let me just... I like. I like. We'll go with that hand. Uh, I, could, uh, I want the knuckles out more. Hold on. Let's go ahead and zoom in. I'm being nitpicky. I literally have the hand there. I'm being nitpicky. I know. But this is... I'm having fun. As long as I'm having fun, then I'm allowing myself to be nitpicky. If you don't select what I want you to select. Okay, nope. I want the finger. The finger. There we go. Good job. And then... We'll just bring it out. Just a smidgen. Now let's select the next finger. You know what, Shereen? If we go like this... My computer's so laggy. If we go like this, bring it forward just so I can see his fingers. Okay, better. And then I go in and I can select each individual finger because I want to bring them down a little bit more. Select that finger. We'll use this. Go like that. Again, you do not have to do this. I have other friends who are like 3D models are doing too much. I'd rather just, just do what I usually do. Then you do that. We are not at school anymore. We have no teachers who will give us poor grades. We have no adults who will who we will get in trouble with if they catch us doing art not according to how they said you must do it. You can create your art however you want. Just because I'm doing this does not mean that you must do this as well. No, no, no. I'm doing this because I can and I like it. <laughs> you do what you like. I'm a very big advocate on creating what I like and what brings me joy. What fills me with happiness? What happens if I do this? I'm a very curious person, too. Nope, I don't like that. And very shameless at the same time. I just have the screen just directly on his crotch, and I'm just now realizing that I am sorry. Let me zoom out. <laughs> I don't realize stuff because, you know, after drawing for so long, I kind of get desensitized to certain things. So, like, when I'm with my sisters and I'm showing them stuff, they're like, why is he naked? And it's like, it, it just, it's a drawing. Why are you visualizing my, my drawing as a human, as an actual naked human? It is a drawing. Stop it. And it's like, what are you talking about? That is, and then, like, Shereen's drawing naked, man. And I'm like, it's not it, mom. <laughs> So, yeah, it's, I realize after, I want to make his arms a little bit, okay, that's good. Leave it alone, Shereen, but what if, no, you really, hold on, hold on, okay, 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 I'm leaving it alone, um, I'm leaving it alone, I'm leaving it alone, I'm not going to adjust it anymore, not going to adjust it anymore. I like how the neck turned out, okay, now for the head, I'm going to click that. I'm going to click it one more time to get the purple dots. Click the purple dots. Come on. Come on. Good job. I'm going to click this dot. This dot is actually the point of view, I guess, where, like, the face is looking. And we're doing a three-fourths view. So I'm going to turn his head. And then what happens if I do this? What does that do? What about you? What do you do? What do these blue arrows do? I know what they do, but then I forget. So I'm like, huh, what does that do again? And I try it out. Um, I think I want his neck to kind of do this thing. 
if I tilt this green thingamabob, this arrow, it moves it. I like. I like. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I'm going to drag him down a little bit more. And then I'm going to actually bring him a little bit closer. Just a little, Come close. Where are you going? Come forward. There you go. More than likely, I'm going to end up cutting off his feet anyways. That sound very gruesome. I'm going to end up hiding his feet anyways <laughs> when I'm done. <laughs> but yeah, so that's how I pose with 3D models. I use the purple dots instead of the precision editor. Because a lot of people you will use this and then they'll get overwhelmed and they're like, it's not doing the thing. That's the precision editor. Get out of there. Get out of there. You go back and you just click the 3D model and you get them purple dots. And you just you just use these purple dots. Look, cause it'll it look, it bends the arms for me. It makes it it makes it it it's doing stuff for me. It's making it it's doing smart mathematical stuff. I can't explain it, but it's doing it's doing stuff that's looking like it should be looking correct. If that makes any sense. So use the purple dots if you want to. You don't have to do what you want. That's what I do. Okay, so that's done. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and trace it. <laughs> I need music. I cannot do this without music. What happens if I push this button? What does this button do? I just, I don't know. What if I push... What does that button do? Hey, bass! Does this sound better? Huh? Oh, there's a delay? Delay, delay. Delay, delay. I need music. I can't do this without music. I could. Can't is a very strong word. Do I want to do this without music? No. I do not. It does? Hi, I figured it out, you guys. <laughs> okay, let's get some music going. Okay. So, it was the audio. I had it. <clears throat> Where is my history? History, show yourself. Here it is. I had the audio up way too high. That's what the issue was. So now I can get some music playing. Yay! Okay, so I'm going to go here. And I'm going to go to here. And then... Oh. Skip, 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 skip. And then I'm going to go to here. And then we can listen to music together. Okay. And we'll go to here. Babe, how's that sound? Do you, do you like hear the music? Huh? Oh, there's a delay. <laughs> Yay, the echo's gone. I did it, you guys. Yay me. Yay me. I did it. I did it. I did it. What song are you going to play? I'm going to play this uh sound this uh video play. You can barely hear it. Okay, I'm going to turn it up some more. What about now? Can you hear the music? Cuz I don't want it to be over my voice cuz I'm a vain woman. I want my voice still heard. How's that? I don't hear any music, by the way. Oh, darn it. Come on, Shireen. I can do this. Do you hear it now? You guys can hear? Look at me being smart. Are you guys proud of me? Yes? You're proud of me? I did it. Now, but just a little bit. Okay, okay. That's perfect. We just want a little bit so that you guys can still hear me. And then we could talk together. Maybe a bit higher, you sure? Okay, I'm gonna turn a bit higher. Okay, I turned it a little bit higher. I'm using the um, best Kawi feature bass mix, EDM, cute Japanese anime music, no copyright <laughs> soundtrack off of YouTube. I hear it, you hear it? Okay, perfect. Perfect, yay. Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and now we're, now that I showed you guys, you can't hear it. 
Oh, it's it's low. It's it's lowered itself now. It's going on to the next one. Super brownie. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go ahead and trace over this 3D model, and then we'll see how. I'll show you guys how I how I do the clothes. Yeah, right now it's fine. Okay, perfect. Oops, oops, oopsies. I pressed something on accident. Let's lower that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And then we go here. Omi, what's wrong? Hopefully the encoder didn't over... Huh? Did the live stream stop? The echo's back? Darn it. What if I do... I'm gonna have to lower it back down. How about now? Oh, okay. Because I think I probably maybe had the music up too loud. No, the echo's back. <laughs> yeah, it might be that I just had this up too loud. I'm going to turn it back down a little bit more. How about now, bass? Selena, the echo's back. Huh? It's still there? Let's see. Let's turn it down. We'll turn this one down. And then we'll turn this one down. How about now? Is it still there? Still there? Echo, echo, echo. Echo, 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 echo. Echo, echo, echo. The echo is back. Oh, jelly beans. I might not be able to have any music playing for you guys. Well, you know what I can do instead? I could put it on my phone. Sorry, my eyes are currently locked on this dot on my computer screen. Once it stops staring at it, then I can look. Okay, there we go. It's gone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I might have to just... I'm gonna have to just... Looks like I won't be able to have music playing for you guys through here. Because you stupid echo. I'll turn that off and just turn this all the way down. Okay, I'll just have my music playing on my phone then instead. It's being stupid. I, t I went ahead and just turned it off. And let me put my... Let me put my, um... Sound my bob. <sighs> I was proud of myself. And now... Now look at me. A failure. A failure. Okay. I got this one going on my... On my phone instead. Okay. Is it still there now? How how is that? Is that better? If not, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll have to figure it out. But any hoodles, here's how I draw over 3D models. <laughs> I make a new layer because I can't draw in the actual 3D model layer. It gives me the red no sign. So I make a new layer. I can make a new layer by going to layer clicking layer and I just click raster layer when I'm just doing my sketch I use like vector layers for what I'm doing my inking because I like to like expand and shrink it down without it getting blurry you know I'm sorry for the echo you guys I'm so sorry he's fine <laughs> okay thank you thank you thank you just turn this down like that okay Okay, there we go. Um, what was I talking about? So yeah, this is how I'm just we're just gonna sketch over the body, and then I'm gonna see what my we'll hide we'll hide this sketch, and then we'll just focus in on this. Let me move it around, move it to the center. Make sure the screen, perfect. The screen can still see, and just bring it up like so. Perfect, perfect. Basil, you gonna? It's almost. It's. <laughs> I haven't done much of anything. I'm gonna try to get this drawn. 
this sketched up by before one o'clock because we're gonna eat. <laughs> What'd you say? Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna get the sketch of a one. So let's go ahead and just let's just pretend everything is fine. <laughs> let's go ahead and just ink this in. Well, this is this is my process. I'm just gonna draw it in. I'm gonna lower my mic because it feels like it's close to my face. And then after I get this all traced down, I go. I like to go back in and I like to jack it all up. It's like when you make your bed, and I know I've said this multiple times, but I like saying it. It's like when you make your bed all perfect and stuff, and it's like, ah, oh, it's beautiful. And then you jump on it, and it's like even better, you know? It's like after you got it perfect, then you just like mess it up. And it's like, there. I like it. Not to say you have to do that. It's just, that's just what I like to do, you know? He's a personal preference. And for me, when it comes to art, I'm a very big advocate of personal preference. But again, that does not mean that you cannot do what other people say, where it's like you have to follow this strict formula and all this. You do whatever. If you want to follow that, follow that. If you don't, don't. Do whatever's going to make you happy. Why? Well, I forgot. His arms actually needs to go in his pocket. We'll go back to our dots and look, we're going to click on our 3D model. We're going to just actually lift this whole dot up. Lift up. And then we can actually just move the dot. Like I'm physically, physically, I'm literally moving the dot. And it does it for me. Like if you don't want to have to go through and do all the arrows and stuff, you can just move the dot. And the dot will think like, oh, do they want this? Do you want that? You know? And then if you're like, oh, sort of, kind of, you can go in and just do a slight adjustments if you want. I'm going to actually move this. No, don't you move that. Put it back. I'm going to, uh, what am I doing then? I don't know. What happens if I do this? Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to go this. So you can actually physically move the purple dots. Or... You can move these little arrows. I just, I love the purple dot feature. I'm on, I want his wrist to kind of go, it's going into his pockets. It's going into his pockets. And then I want his arm, I forgot what he looked like. No, that wasn't the right draft. That was my first draft of my sketch. And this is the cleaned up one here, I'll show you. This is this one and then this is cleaned up I had to fix his face you can't even see his hand Shrine, why are you fussing over this what is wrong with you <laughs> I have an issue we're gonna bring it back because I want the arm and then I'm gonna actually move this up I kind of like that angle and I want the arm back push that arm back some more okay and then you know what Put your hand back inside of your pocket. Oh, got a message. Oh, from my mom and sisters. <laughs> my methods are chaos though. Hey, that's fine. Hi, Bert. Hello. Hi, Kai. And create. And create. Okay. I don't know what I was saying before, but now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to trace this like that. And I'm just going to trace this like that. I'm going to try to get this all, this 3D model one done before 1 o'clock hits. Because that's lunch time for me. I hope you guys are having a good day. Thank you so much for stopping by today's stream. My goal is to try to stream a little bit more of my process. Just so you guys can see the behind the scene of like what a comic artist does or webtoon comic artist or web comic artist i'm just i'm just doing all the things i'm a blogger comic artist youtuber i stream on twitch now i do the social media management i do the um i handle it all running the whole business <laughs> so i'm like you know let's go ahead and just share with everybody else and then maybe someday i'll be able to make friends because it's like for me, it's hard for me to personally make friends because I like to be around um, people who aren't as narrow-minded or closed. Not narrow-minded, but just their point of view. They don't consider all points of view, you know? They're just very quick to 
to take what they heard and run with it instead of like, you know. So I, I like to be around people who whose minds are very open, you know. And I notice a lot of comic artists are are a lot like that to a certain degree. To a certain degree, so I'm like, hey, if I show myself drawing, maybe I can find a friend. I of course have my husband, my husband, my husband, but he has a friend. He has multiple friends, and I have none. I mean, I have some that I met in sixth grade, but I have none that I talk to on a daily basis that I would consider like an actual friend. And if I talk to on a daily basis, I don't, I can't talk to people on a daily basis. So <laughs> I'm a cactus friend, but like I don't have like someone who's like. You can just, like, play games with, or, you know, if you're playing games, you're like, hey, you want to play games together? Yeah. Like, that kind. Because I don't, I don't do the small talk friendship. No, please don't call me every day. I can't, I can't talk to people every day. I get burned out. I'm an introvert. But if you're drawing, hey, are you drawing? Yeah, I'm drawing. Perfect. Let's silently draw together and listen to music. Like, I'm that kind of friend. So it's like, I just got to find others who are like me. Who also are like, please don't talk to me. But hey, are you drawing? Yeah. Alright, I'll draw. You don't have to say anything. We don't have to talk to each other. And let's just draw together. It's like, I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> you get that? You get it? Yeah! We'll totally be your friends. Good! Wait, I thought you guys already were. Because, you know, since you're watching the live stream, you know. It's already, like, written in, like, the lower tiny code on the terms of services on my website that says all who watch the live stream are already Shireen's friends. So, I mean, you guys are already legally my friends. I mean, other people who aren't watching the live stream, I gotta, like, trap them. I mean, I gotta lure them. I gotta invite them to also watch the stream, thus they also do become friends. But you guys are already bound by my terms of services. So, <laughs> yay. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like a support group is starting here. Let's do that. <laughs> a support group in like the most introverted way to where it's like, no, we don't talk to each other each day, but it's like, hey, what you draw? <laughs> it's like that kind of support group. It's like, all right, I'm gonna draw in my hole, you draw in your hole, then you just show me what you drew when you're all done. Perfect, I like that. <laughs> cause yeah, I can't, cause like I know um before I, uh. Like, when I, like, made friends in real life, it was very difficult because I've upset some people. And it's like, I don't mean to, but it's like, you never call, you never talk, you never text. And it's like, I'm sorry. The type of friend that I am is the type to where it's like, I won't, I don't do those things. I draw, but don't talk to me about drawing all the time because I get anxious. But if you're drawing, let me see. <laughs> I'll draw with you silently it's weird I can't explain it but I haven't had much experience with friendships because I didn't I grew up in a very sheltered life so I wasn't really allowed to have friends to a certain degree I had a lot of judgmental adults around me so it made it very difficult for me to have any friends because they're like no that person's of bad seed don't be around them or else you're going to be bad and it's like well now here I am awkward <laughs> have no experience whatsoever in struggling but it's fine it's all for a good cause. Okay, this is what it looks like when the sketches, when the 3D model's gone. Let's look at our sketch that I have. Alrighty. Let me move my sketch over. This is what I want it to end up looking like. It's like, Shereen, why don't you choose that sketch? I don't want to! <laughs> I can't explain it. I want to use a 3D model. I want, I'm having fun. I haven't fun. Let me have fun. You know, it's fun. You're drawing with me, yay! Only you're drawing with me. You guys are drawing with me, yay, 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 yay. <laughs> I just clarify it right off the bat with my friends. See, I need to start with doing that. I need to let them know I don't talk every day. I don't message every day. If you're like, hey, what are you doing? You gotta let me know what is the objective of our conversation, or else I'm gonna get anx anxious. You know, I should start doing that, and then that's probably gonna drive more people away, unless. It's also going to attract the people that are just like me. And they're like, I do the same thing. I'm glad you brought that up. I've been dying to talk about that for a hot minute. <laughs> so, yeah, cool. Rox, are you drawing with me too? Yeah, you guys are drawing with me together. Wishing you should make a Discord server. That requires a lot of extroverted energy, though. We're introverts. How, how... I would have to, like, manage people and then, like, manage... And then what if people argue or people get upset... Oh, that's just terrifying. I already have to deal with the, my children. They argue so much. 
they get so mad at each other and it's like you guys mommy's dying what, you, what is wrong now okay so now what I'm going to do I'm going to use my selection tool I'm just going to start messing stuff up and by messing stuff up we're just going to start expanding stuff and rotating stuff this is this is also again I'm a very Frankenstein, Frankenstein type artist and I know for some people it's like that just seems so unnecessary what is unnecessary to you is peace and serenity to me why because I am chaos so let me be chaotic let me create in my chaotic way it's like but you could be more efficient I am not here for efficiency I'm here for chaos I want problems <laughs> and fun <laughs> always <laughs> oh me It'll probably attract the good people. Okay, I need to I need to just start being... I'm going to start being even more chaotic and just let people know, hey, this isn't me. Is this you? No, that's fine. That's fine. You Carry on. We'll, we'll continue on. Just wanted you to know. And then I'll just go and be like, it's fine. I'm going to eventually find someone who's just like me. It worked on my husband. I was smashing on a piece of chicken. Okay, I've told this story before. But it worked on, on my husband. So, when I first met my husband, I was all dolled up like how my mom and aunt and all the other older people would tell you to be. If you want to attract honey, if you want to attract bees, flies, whatever, you got to use honey. And you need to be looking like honey. So, you need to do your hair, have it curled. You need to wear the, the cardigan. You need to be dressed up to the T. You know, and make sure how you're talking is just so ever so pleasant to where you can just grab their ear. I did all those things, and did my husband look at me? No. He didn't even turn around at all. He didn't even look at my face. So I'm like, none of that worked. <laughs> so I was like, forget it. I give up. And, you know, the next day I came back, um, and I was eating chicken at the fellowship hall, hair a mess, sweaty from work, big old black winter overcoat on, orange bright neon shirt that was buttoned up wrong, and just sweat and just hair just all over the place with grease all over my mouth, smashing on the piece of chicken. And you want to know who wants to notice me then? <laughs> He's just sitting, just in line. He was waiting for his chicken while I'm sitting at the table eating chicken. And he just looking at me. I got chicken in my mouth. And I'm like, like looking around, like, is he looking at somebody else? Like, kind of copping the attitude, like, what are you looking at? You didn't want to look at me before. Now you want, you got a problem, <laughs> but it worked. I'm like, okay, he's looking at me. He's smiling. Okay. So it's, a, he don't want to fight. He's not making fun of me. He's, he'd smile. Okay. We're going to try it again. We're going to try it again. Put the twirl curls back. Let's, let's do this again. Not gussing myself up again. Even though. So it's just like, maybe I should just, just be my natural chaotic self. It worked to get my husband. It's going to work to get me some actual friends. <laughs> I mean, that's how I got my friends, um, Yin and Brittany and Katie and Sarah from the sixth grade. That's how I got them. I was like, hi, what's your name? And she was like, my best friend, she was like, it's Brittany. And my best friend is just like, it's just like, she can talk to me about stuff, about her personal life. And it's like, I don't feel like she's trauma dumping on me. I just feel like best friend and then like I could talk to her and just like let her know like this is where my mindset is at on this and she's like you know I can like have an exchange conversation even if our views are opposing it's still open and we're still able to like that's why I would I consider her best friend because I'm not afraid she's going to just be like cut off all communications just because we disagree or have you know opposite view because I've I've had friends like that so that's why I consider like best friend because I can just be open with her and I mean, also with Yin as well, and Katie and Sarah. I don't, th I don't think I have a deep conversation with Sarah before, but I love her nonetheless. But anyways, that's how I met my best friend in sixth grade. I was like, "Hey, what's your name?" She was like, "Brittany." I was like, "What?" <laughs> and she was like, "Brittany." I was like, I, "I like that name. What's your last name?" <laughs> and I was younger than her, and so she was like, "Oh Lord." So I don't know. We we some kind of way we became friends after that. She put up with me, and we became friends after that. And, and people who were like, "How do you get her to talk?" I'm like, "She talks when she wants to talk. When she got something to say, she don't want to talk to you. Leave her alone." So I was, I was, I was there. I'm their chaotic, younger. I'm the, I was their chaotic younger friend. So I don't know why they put up with me, but and then I met my yin, 
during orchestra class and pulled her into my chaos. And she was so quiet too. I remember in um she was super quiet. And it's so funny because even though she was super quiet, like she does not like <laughs> people thought she was just like this just like innocent, like she will talk smack in like the most undertone way. Like if she's walking behind someone and they're taking too slow to move, she's like, Get out the way. Like she'll whisper just like when you just walk just like that she's like utter chaos she's like me but she's like more low-key with it it is like yin <laughs> or she drinks milk she just belches and it's like <laughs> so a lot of people don't realize that about yin though didn't realize that about her so like when they would see me just bouncing all this energy and then like you know just being like why aren't you come on you guys let's go let's go and then they're like oh my god Shireen. they they think that i look kind of like the bully <laughs> i'm not because they're the ones who are like trained sit down <laughs> they're the ones telling me that so but they wouldn't really know that you wouldn't really know that just by looking at our dynamic i look like the one that's overbearing but they're the one that's like get get over here so it's funny because like during um gym during one of our pe sessions i was just being my regular chaotic self just complaining about something or just being like ah oh, man come on you do this do this with me let's do the push-ups and one of the girls, she was like, why are you barking at her? She used the other word. She was like, why are you barking at Yin? Leave her alone. And I remember my friend Yin was looking at her like confused, like, what are you, who are you protecting me against? And I remember I looked at her and I was like, what are you talking about? This is my friend. What are you talking about? This is our dynamic. I think Yin had to like pull me away from the situation. I was highly heated. I was like, what do you mean? I need, what do you, I'm, What? <laughs> So, yeah, I just, I don't know how we became friends, but we've been friends ever since, and I just, I love her to pieces. I have her, um, I don't know if you guys read in my story, but the, at the end of the story, like, she reached out to me. It's so cute, because <laughs> I remember before her and her husband got married, and she was like, I'm just not, she was like, she was against the whole, like, I'm not getting married, I'm just gonna be single and free, work on my education and focus on my career. And then like later on, I ended up getting married and then she ended up like, so I met someone. I was like, <laughs> so anyway, so she, um, I wrote her, her love story of her, how her and her husband met. She had asked me to, she had commissioned me to do that for her wedding. It's called Upa Sunshine. I don't know if you can see it. It's right here. It's in the back of my uh, book, but this is a, is a real life story about how her and her husband met and I thought that was just so fun so I drew that for her and she gave that to her husband and then she kept one copy for herself <laughs> but it was just the cutest thing and it's like oh look at my friend even though you like sword off guys because you said that they were weird well, look at you all married now with the with the son and I was like and she was like yeah we have to have our kids meet up so they can like meet each other I was like, yeah, I need to have my daughter come over and play a a, a, a a play date with you guys and meet again. And we drag Brittany out to the Mexican restaurant, eat some and eat some tortillas. So yeah, I'm I I'm thankful for the friends that I have been able to make, and that I still do have, and that I can just not worry that I have to that they're going to be like, oh man, she's a drag, you know. They are all aware of all of this chaos, and they've seen, like, the me in the wild. So, I appreciate them. I said all that talking. <laughs> Do your friends draw, too? Um, they draw a little bit. We actually, they, um, my friend Katie, oh my god, I loved how she drew. My friend Yin, Brittany, she, actually all of them, I think, all of them draw. I, th I think except for Yin. I don't think she draws. I have to ask her again. I don't think she draws, but we kind of dragged her into it a little bit. But we had this comic book that we made together. Um, we had our little club. It was called TKO, Totally Kids Only. <laughs> and we had our little comic book that we made. And we will pass around each day. Um, we will pass our comic book around to each other. And we will have to, like, draw a comic in it. And then we'll pass it to the other person. And they will have to draw a comic in it. And then we'll all sit in our group and, like, read through the comic that we drew. And just laugh. <laughs> we had, like, the evil Mr. Pop-Tart. But my friend Katie, her name is Katie Isaacs. Um, she has her own, 
She has her own Facebook page. You can find her because she still like draws. She's her work is amazing. I it's just her mind how her mind thinks. It's just like when I look at her art, you just want to just bury your eyes in it because it's just the detail and she's so creative. But I always love looking at Katie's work because I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. And then my friend Brittany, she's very, she's a musician and she does music. She's very shy, so she's not ready to like get her, like she's not ready to share it with the world right now. But I'm like, you don't got to if you don't want to. You create for you. But she's very talented. She's very music. She just... I love her brain and just, I love all three of my friends, but they're very creative too. It's just when I, um, I want to, um, see if I, I want to ask Katie, if it's okay, if I could share her work on my, um, Facebook page, I know I said I'll stop at one, but I'm not done drawing and talking about my friends, <laughs> but I want to ask Katie, if it's okay, if I could share her, her work on my Facebook page. Cause I love it. It's so symbolic and just, she's so talented. She's so talented. Katie's the best. All of them are the best. But yeah. Okay. So I just wanted to expand his shoulders a little bit. That's what this was. And now I'm just kind of like chiseling it out just to kind of look similar to what I have over here, but just different. Why? Because it's just, I want, I still want to, this is just, this is my process. It probably is a bit over. No, it's not. You know what, Shereen? We're not going to devalue what we enjoy. We like it, and it's valid. We like it, and it is valid. Okay. Now, I kind of have his hip. I want it bigger. His trunk bigger. I don't like how this shoulder is, so I'm actually going to take off that deltoid, and I'm actually going to ex expand this. I'm going to chop off this deltoid. Just a smidgen. Yeah. You know, I like how the cloth looks on it. I might actually... Yeah, I'm going to bring his wrist down more. I'm going to actually bring it down some more. Like that. You know what? No. We're going to make the base of the hand longer. We're going to make this longer. Does it make sense? Nope, but I like it like that that's good okay I don't know why I started on that story about my friends but yeah I met them back in sixth grade Brittany Yen Katie Sarah and I know I'm forgetting someone oh and Jackie she was uh older than us in a higher grade than us but and she was a friend of that we met through Katie but yep yeah, we love Jackie too. We had like nicknames for ourselves. I can't remember them all though. But I like how they are like just as chaotic as me. Like when we all get together, it's just. It's nice. I haven't gotten together with them in like years, but that time when I. when we were together. I was like, this feels just like when we we're back in school. Like time never even passed. Still is just as protective of them as, <laughs> as I was back then. And they are just as protective of me too. Like I was the one who was more so like, what, you want to go? Because we we moved a lot. So moving to different cities that had like different types of people led to a bit of a culture shock. <laughs> and in one town, there wasn't, I wasn't used to fighting. But when we moved to another place, there was a lot of fighting that did happen to where it's like, well, I'm no longer afraid of this now. And then when I moved to other places, I was shocked because I'm like, you guys don't fight. <laughs> I've been fighting all my life now <laughs> because we moved so much. So it's interesting because like when I met my friends, that was a town where people didn't really fight a lot. But I just got done moving out of a town where people, they fought a lot. Like you got a problem? I don't like your socks. We fighting. So <laughs> when I met my friends... I was very much so like, what, we got a problem? You got a problem with my friends? You messing with my friend? 
then I guess you want to fight because I was, I was already programmed because of the other states I was living in because they're just fighting. They just fought. So my friends had to like, Shereen, we don't do that here. It's like, all right, all right. Because they looking funny though. It's like, Shereen, calm down. All right, all right, all right. I'm good. I'm calm. But they say something to you. <laughs> I remember one person had cut in front of my, me and my friend Brittany, we had gotten into this argument or disagreement or something. And so we had kind of like stopped talking. And I remember um, she was waiting in line. She was waiting in line and we kind of weren't like standing next to each other because, you know, we were, we were fighting. We were doing a silent fight. And, um, but someone cut in front of her and she didn't say anything. So I'm looking at her and I'm looking at the dude. And I'm like, okay, me and my friend are fighting. Me and you are fighting. Don't be letting him cut in front of you. Get to, and so I told him, I'm like, nah, 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 you're not finna cut in front of her. Get to the back. You see her standing there. <laughs> and I was like, Brady, get up here. <laughs> and so I don't, I don't know. I don't think we ever like talked about that afterwards, but we got over our fight. I'm like, no, you can't, we can't be fighting. And then you just let somebody just cut in front of you. You don't say nothing. Say something. <laughs> I'm gonna say something for you. Don't you worry. You ain't gotta say nothing. I'm gonna say something for you. And, you know, we started talking again after that. So, <laughs> our fights were very random. Very, they, We didn't have a lot of fights. Because I just, I, I'm like, no, you, I'm not going to be mad at my friend and then see somebody cut in front of my friend. No! I'm done being mad. Get to that back! <laughs> like that. <laughs> Every day I had to fight. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, chocolate, they hated on the socks. It, it, the town that I lived in before I moved to um, Huber Heights... It was just, I'm like, it was a culture shock. So I'm like, why are y'all so aggressive? Like, I remember bending over to tie my shoes. And this boy came up and just kicked me. And I told my mom. And my mom's like, okay, well, honey, when you bend over, you got to squat next time. So I'm like, all right, fair enough. We're not going to talk about the boy that kicked me? No? All right, fair enough. I'll handle that next time then. Which I did. And then um, I remember there was another time where someone had stolen something from me and I told my mom I'm like the kid these kids keep picking on me and she was like well honey just laugh with them I'm like okay she was like because if you're laughing with them then they won't see they'll see that you're not bothered so I took that literally unfortunately what had happened was I had asked her, I'm like did you take that out of my backpack and she took my collar and slammed me up against the 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 chalkboard and was like like in my face and I just started bursting out laughing I was like <laughs> you know I just started laughing because I'm looking at I'm like is this really happening are you really like are, are we in the tv show and it's just like and she looked at me like I was crazy and I was like I'm just doing what my mom told me to do and she ended up letting me go and back and I'm like whatever and I she's she avoided me after that and it's like okay mom you have me looking crazy now but I legit, I was laughing because I was shocked. I'm like, this is just like out of those shows. So this is how the fight started. So I remember I, I had, you know, I, I was holding on to her wrist and I was just laughing. And she ended up like, you know, walking away. And I'm like, wait, so that's it? So I'm like, ah, so being crazy works. <laughs> so I had like an, an awakening. I'm like, ah, we can be crazy. And if they want to go, we can go. But I'm not that way anymore now. I'm not that way anymore. I'm totally so chill and so relaxed not aggressive at all. I learned that fighting is just going to get me in jail and get the cops called on us again. So you want to know what I do instead? I choose chaos and I just mind my own business unbothered. You mad about something? You'll be all right. <laughs> Leave me alone. They said something about me. I don't care. They're not paying my bills. They don't like what I'm doing. Well, they can try to stop me, but it's not going to work. I don't care anymore. I've, I'm I'm Gucci. I'm unbothered. The things that I used to get in fights about when I was younger, I'm now like, I don't, that's just, I I'm, I got bills I gotta pay. Why do I care about it? I don't care. I'm busy. I'm busy. They said this. Okay, and my, my water bill is $70. They're gonna, why are they talking? They're gonna pay for that? No? Okay, well then, come on. We gotta get to work. We gotta get, make this money. <laughs> I'll worry about them later. Well, they don't like what you did. Okay. I, I didn't do it for them. 
Like I'm very, I've, I've, I've become very chaotic. But I realize that my children, because they're now going through that, you know, that stage of dealing with people don't like me. Honey, do you like you? Because you're the only one that really matters. Because you're the only one that's going to be paying your bills when you get older. They're not, they ain't buying you nothing. They're not, they're not paying for the clothes on your back. Not that people have to do that kind of stuff to validate or justify their importance to you. But just, I want my kids just to take into consideration a lot of this stuff. Once you become an adult, to a certain degree, it's going to just feel like, man, that was a lot of wasted time crying. When I could have just been chaotic and just find my tribe by just still being me. You know? Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that. But again, everyone's situation is different. So what works for me now might not work for them. So I just listen to their how they feel and don't invalidate their feelings. Because I know when you're going through it, it is very hard. And I just support them. I'm like, hey, do you need mommy to talk about them together with you? We can talk about them behind their backs. If that'll make you feel better. Or we could be mature. And they're like, yeah, I just, I don't want to talk about it, mom. But thank you. I'm like, okay, would you like some cake? And they're like, yes. I'm like, perfect. I'll make you some cake. Selena, no worries. Thank you for stopping by, Selena. I hope your baby gets better. Oh, I hope he gets better. But yeah, go, go, go get them to the doctor. And, and you drink some tea. But thank you for stopping by. <laughs> That's what she does, a straight up baller. I'm not, I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Look at my hair. I'm I don't I'm I'm not a fighter. I cry easy and I'm very sensitive and I get my feelings hurt. I am not. I need his need to go out more. I am I am I cry easy. That was just during the survival days. <laughs> you know what? His knee is definitely different. Oh well. Let's finish just putting these pants on him. And we'll just do it according to what this this one is. Let's do that like that. I know before, like growing up, a lot of I noticed that a lot of the adults put a lot of like emphasis or pride, I guess, on fighting because I guess like a lot of them, that's all that they had. That's how their whole lifestyle was. If you weren't fighting, you were weak and you could potentially end up dying because I don't know. They, I guess they were still living out their war days or something. I don't know. I just don't want my kids to be like that because I want them to value communication. But I'm like, if someone is hitting you, you hit them back. Don't hit them back. You come and tell, you hit them back. But don't hit them back. I'm not telling you guys to hit them back. But I know for me, if someone were to hit me, first I'm going to ask a couple questions like, what's going on? Why are you hitting me? Oh, because of that? Okay. Stop it. And I'm going to remove myself from the situation. But if they continue to follow, then it's like, okay, what's going on here? <laughs> then it's self-defense. But I digress. Violence is not the answer, munchkins. Don't be out here decking people in the face. But protect yourself. But don't be out here decking people in the face because I don't have bail money. So let's just draw pictures. Let's draw our characters decking people in the face. <laughs> Hit them back. <laughs> so yeah, let's just, let's just, let's not, I don't want to get the cops called on this. So let's just draw our characters doing that. So for my wrinkles, this is what I do. I do a V. I do this. It's literally like V's, U's, and like Y's. And then sometimes that changes, but I put a one here. I'll put one here. And I'm just going to do, I'm going to see what this kind of sleeve looks like. And I put like a little, like this, a little S. So maybe that might help you guys. If you guys are struggling with clothes and folds, try to think of them like letters. See if that helps you to be able to visualize it. V's, S's, W's. See if that helps. Because I know some people are like, just imagine where the wrinkle folds. I'm like, that doesn't help me at all. My mind's blank. My mind's blank. I can't see anything. What do you mean? Imagine where the wrinkles are. What is a wrinkle? <laughs> so I need, for me, I need guidelines. I need guidelines to help me feel what I do not see. It's like that condition, that anfantasia that I talked about. It's like that. If I don't have like a guideline, I'm not going to be able to visualize it because my mind is blank. 
And I commend those people who are able to just draw something over and over and over and then like three times and then boom, they got it. For me, it takes me years to be able to finally get something. That's from drawing it, tracing it over and over and over. And then that's finally when it like registers in my brain. But even after that, I'll still end up forgetting. So I still like to use it like that. Like my comic school memories, I have a lot of mixture between um, 3D models and just freehand. I mean, with all of my comics, it is legit a mixture of 3D models and freehand. Even though I think a lot of people think that I've just did the whole thing 3D model. And it's like, no, I I mixed it together. There are panels that have 3D models and panels that don't. <laughs> That's just, that's just, I just create. There's no, if you do, because I know there are some artists that do have their whole thing, all 3D models. I, I just want a comic to me to read, so I'm happy. Like, you, you got that comic finished, perfect. And I know there are some artists who don't use 3D models at all, and they just do it all by memory. I think both have value. And as long as you're happy creating it, I'm happy for you. You know? Be free and create. I don't like how that looks, but be free and create. Okay, so that's this. So let's go ahead and look side by side at our sketch. Oh, you know what? I should probably put it in his face. Give me a second. Let me put it in his face real quick. And then what I'm going to end up doing, I like my sketch better, if I'm perfectly honest. I like my sketch way better. Yeah, I like my sketch way better. Because even after I did the tracing of the 3D model, I still like the sketch way better. Okay, so let's go ahead and... Whoopsies. Let's put it in his eyes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like this song. Mm -hmm. He gets like this. I wonder if Elijah went and got me... Got us some lunch. Not me. But got us some lunch. Face. I don't hear him. Maybe he did. Do do this, do this. But how are you guys doing? <laughs> but base, you gonna get McDonald's? Sorry, went a little overtime. I'm actually finishing up now. I just want to see what this. I'm just sketching in this one. Oh, this music is so pretty. I'm going to put the ear like so. I hope you guys have been enjoying the stream so far. It's actually about to end now. It's like, girl, you didn't do nothing. I did. I drew this. <laughs> like, it looks bad. It don't look bad. It looks good. What are you talking about? You know, I don't like how it's looking because it's just, it's not hitting where I want it to hit like it hits with, for my sketch. But that's fine. We'll just go with my sketch that I have. But at least, hey, I showed you guys how I use 3D models. And sometimes my whole process, I'll end up, like, not using the 3D, like, exact. And I'll just, like, move stuff around, you know? I tweak it. And so my eyeballs are like, oh, yay. So, like, right here, I'm just going to tweak some of this. And then, let's see, this, his eye here, chin here, like that, like that, like that, like that, bring this down, eyeballs too high up, too big, I need to thin out that eyelid actually. Oh, we're just vibing. Oh, did you like this stream? Yay! Thank you. Yay! <laughs> I was worried that the stream was a little bit like, ooh, girl, you telling us too much information. I'll know for next time because I always end up replaying what I've said on stream in my brain. I need to, um, also for the Webtoon uh, workshop, I need to edit that. My goal is to hopefully get that edited a, like a portion of it edited and posted on to my YouTube. So expect another video. Um, expect another video upload today. 
either today or tomorrow. I'll schedule it for tomorrow. I'll just edit it today and then I'll schedule it to post tomorrow. So keep your eyes out for that. I'm going to be sharing um, just a part of the clip of the workshop because it's a, like an hour long workshop. I don't want to have to like post another hour long video on my YouTube and overwhelm you guys because it's a lot of information um, all at once. So I'm just going to cut out certain parts and then share them and share them with you guys so that you guys can like digest each section in small bites so if you like learn something new for that video you guys can apply it you know because I know during the workshop some people are like yeah I'm overwhelmed I'm like okay so I, I need to having all the information <laughs> all at once might be a little too much so we shall chop it down and go like that. It's so much fun to just allow yourself just to draw and use the tools and resources without shame, you know, and pressure. It just makes it to where you're like just a breath of fresh air just went into your lungs, you know? Like that's how I feel when I'm able to just allow myself just to draw and have fun with it. Not to say others aren't who aren't doing it this way. No, everyone, everyone, whatever, whether you're using traditional, it's just so much fun just to draw. Art's just so much fun. You're just building and creating, carving out, bringing back in, just vibing. It's fun. <laughs> Ring that notification bell and smash that like button as Chainsaw says. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Stream was fun. Thank you so much. I'll hop off once Elijah comes back with the McDonald's. But for now, I like how his eyes turned out with this one, though. Jaehwan, he has very sleepy kind of looking eyes. Because he doesn't, he's not putting in a lot of energy when it comes to certain things. Because he's already busy trying not to be sad. <laughs> but I want, he has a longer nose. I like, I like long noses. So I think I'll bring that down a little bit. And then that mouth, let's. He kind of has just like, not really a frown, but he's just like, I'm not lifting up my lips. We're just going to keep that there. And then put this here. And then I gave him like... Oriana has more of a heart shape kind of face structure for Jaehwan. I wanted to give him hard edges. So it's like a rectangle jaw. I like to flip it so my eyeballs reset. Make this bigger. Like that, bring that forward like so, and then bring that forward like so. I don't know, we'll just vibe with it. Have fun. Hey, 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 hey. Sorry, the music's going. Let's bring this up like so, and then put that there like so. And it's like, do you know what you're doing? Nope. That's the fun of it. It's like you're working with a piece of clay. You don't know until you're done. But for now, enjoy the process. And then we'll put this here, put that here, put that there. It's like, girl, that looks so messy. It does, but it's, it's okay. It's okay. Now, this is all right here to smushed. So I'm going to actually put this here, put that there. Dude, this is like long, I think. Oh, well. This is why I don't share my like sketching process. Because <laughs> it looks chaotic like this. But my husband was like, you should share this process. I'm like, okay. So I did as he said. He's in the other room. <laughs> I'm older than him, so I'm allowed to pick on him. <laughs> oh, he just left. He's getting McDonald's. 
Yay! Maybe I shouldn't pick on him since he's getting food. Okay. Put that there, put that there. Let me look at this. You know, let me let me hide this. Because my brain's just doing too much. Put that down. Neck. Go right here. Yeah. And then you know what? We need to fold. Fold like so. Fold around that neck. I don't know what's going on here. It's like a traffic accident. And then... You know what? Let's bring you forward. Be nice to yourself. Be nice to yourself. Have fun. We're vibing. And streaming. It's like, but people are going to know that you don't know how to do stuff. I don't know how to do nothing. <laughs> I'm vibing and having fun. My goal is not to appear like the Pokemon master. Of art. My goal is just to have fun. So I'm okay if people are like, she don't know what she's doing. Yup, sure don't. And I'm having fun. So if you also don't know what you're doing and you want to have fun, go ahead and join me. No shame, no judgment from me. I'll just be over here like, you got this. Let's have fun. Flip it. I'm going to bring this shoulder up some more. Why, huh? My brain's like, oh, let's, let's, let's bring that up a little bit more. Let's just bring that up. Boom. Trina, hi! Welcome back! <laughs> Chaos is good. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome back, Trina. Mechanical, I didn't know you was here. I can't remember your name because my I, my memory is going blank. I, I didn't, I'm just now like realizing. I have no clue who's all watching this stream and I don't know if it actually ended. Um, no, I didn't put a time. We're good. I didn't put a time. But I'm going to be hopping off here soon once Elijah comes back with food. My brain's like, girl, why is this one like that? Okay, okay, we'll put that here. And then I think I want to bring it down some more. Yeah. And then put that W, we're going to put that Y here. We're going to put that Y there. And then I'm going to put that, like, U, kind of like right here. Or the U or the V, kind of like right here. Okay. And then we're going to put, we're doing this right here. That's kind of like what I like to do. I like to do like this thing, the little crinkle. I don't know why. I like how it looks. I've seen other people do it. Raxi, we're here. Okay, good. Good, good, good. We're going to be ending soon, so I just want to make sure it's like, you guys didn't leave me. Because I got to say bye to everybody while I can. I wonder if like I'll ever get to like that stage to where I won't be able to say bye to everyone, you know? That'll be interesting. It sounds anxious. I don't think that'll ever happen. Nah. So I don't know how long I'll be able to continue to stream because of all of my other business stuff that I wanted to do. Let's put a U right here. Why? Because I've seen other people do that. <laughs> I want to put like, I've seen it like the U's kind of like right here. And like they kind of like put, no, well, the U, I don't want to put a U there. We're just going to put like some lines like that. Like I'm doing like this just to make it look like how I've seen other people look. <laughs> it's like, girl, where's your reference? I, I'm too lazy to pull it out. <laughs> it's like, it'll probably look much better on your stream that you did on Twitch. You had your reference. Yeah, but I don't feel like to pull my reference out this time. I want to put, like, his shirt hanging out, like, here. Yeah. And I should probably be backed up. But right now, I'm having fun just being zoomed in. Let's move that right here. And then let's put this here. He's going to have like black loafers on. So we'll just scribble, 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 scribble. It's like, that's not how you do that. It is today. Scribble, 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 scribble. Oops. Open all the way. Yeah, see with the 3D model, I should have had this knee go out. But I didn't. I don't like that there. We'll put like, I'll have like a faint one like that. You know what? I don't like how that one's like that. We'll put that lump, take that lump away, and go like that. I like that better. Put that here, put that there. Straighten this leg out a little bit more. Like that. And then straighten that out like that. 
straighten that out like so. And then, you know what? We'll take that curve off right here. Put it back. <laughs> okay. We're going to bring his crotch down. Let me expand. See this right here? I don't like. We're going to bring it. And the same thing I did with Oriana as well. So you know what I'm going to do? I am going to do exactly what I did with Oriana. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Who's going to stop me? I answer to no one but myself. It's like, you're going to eventually have to put the feet there. And if you don't know how to do it, me, 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 me. If you can come up with hypothetical situations on why I shouldn't do something, I'm going to come up with hypothetical situations on why I'm allowing myself to do something. Oh, it, the whole music is all done. One more time and then we'll, we'll end it. Okay, now let's do Jay Han's hair. With Jay Han's hair, it's like this. I have these two things here and then I have this thing here. I need to smooth out his he doesn't have that sharp of a cheekbone. His cheekbone's not that sharp. It's like that. And then this is not like that. This is like that. And this is like that. Okay, anyways. And then his hair does like this thing. I had it based off of, um, you know that singer from TVXQ, you know? That's how I kind of have his hair based off of, like back in like, like the early 2000s, early 90s, how you know used to have his hair. That's where I got the reference from for Jay Han's hair, from you know, from TVXQ. Let's see. Like that. Because I really like that hairstyle. Oops, like that. And like, let me just chisel this out. Just round out right about there. Yeah, right about there. Okay, and then give the little Adam's apple. Perfect. And then right here, right here, right here. And... We need to make sure the collar goes like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Goes around. So we go like that and then put a line. Stop connecting that line. We want the line right there. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then his hair actually goes. He has like long hair in the back. So it's like this. Let me go ahead and just blacken it. Black, 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 black. Dark, dark, dark. Scribble, scribble, scribble. Okay. You guys get what I'm trying to draw here. <laughs> you guys get what I'm trying to draw. Okay. Let me... Her little gloomy, sad boy, Jay Juan. Let's flip it. Reset the eyeballs. Okay. Okay. There we go. Don't necessarily like how I have that leg right there, so. There we go. Okay. So, here's our 3D model. I'm at the drive-thru. You're getting a Big Mac. Yes, please. A Big Mac and a, and a large fry. <laughs> Which food do you want? <laughs> yeah, a Big Mac and a large fry. I don't know if you... I just now saw your comment. I'm sorry. That's my husband. <laughs> I drew his avatar. You're a TVXQ fan? Yeah, yeah, I love TVXQ. I haven't heard a lot of the, their, like... If they've come out with recent songs. But, like, I like a lot of their older songs. Like, the older... I like a lot of their older songs. They have a couple. They have a couple of my faves. So, like, I'm a random type person. I like random people's songs from random groups, if that makes any sense. 
Elijah, did you get... Are you getting a Big Mac with fries? I'll take a large or a medium. Or whichever one you get me. Peace. Elijah, he's been helping me. That's my husband. He helps me with, um... Writing. He's been helping me more with, like, coming up with, like, scenarios and, like, listening to my rants. When I'm trying to figure out what to do with the characters. For, uh... For my story, so... Eventually, I'm gonna end up having to put his name on the... On the, um credits list as as co-writer <laughs> okay he heard me okay good okay so yeah this is the 3d model that we worked with let me zoom scroll it up i hid his feet because i didn't like how they looked <laughs> it's like you're not allowed to do that yes i am yes i am <laughs> make me but anyways so i have this this is a sketch that i have i might still go with the sketch his legs are just too thin for the sketch. I like thicker legs. But I do like his, like, gloomy... We'll see. You know what? When I share the character sheet, we'll see what... Uh, we'll see which one which one I come... Which one I stick with. But here's a 3D model reference, and then here's what we got. Let me just... Here's what we got. So, yeah. I think that was fun. You guys had fun? <laughs> you, did you guys have fun? Ugh! I hope you guys have fun. I'm going to go ahead and start saying my goodbye. So you guys say bye to me so I can say your name and say bye as well, okay? I'm going to give you a second to gather yourselves and say goodbye to me. Because you should... It's written, like I said, in the terms of services on my website. With that, whenever you join the live stream, you are bound to me as my friend. And you must say goodbye to me. So I'll go ahead and wait. I'll wait. Roxy, so fun. Thank you, Roxy. Thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, Roxy. Bye, Chocolate. Bye, Chesa. Bye, guys. Thank you for entertaining me in my chaoticness. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, okay. I'm going to go ahead and go. Thank you again so much for stopping by, you guys. Um, Hold on. I got to figure out how to stop this this stream. Do I have to actually go to my actual YouTube thing? This is, I'm just, don't look at any of that. <laughs> Not that there's anything bad. There's nothing bad in there. Bye, Ima. Bye. Your name looks familiar. Bye, Iman. I, Iman. I'm, Ima. Bye. I hope you have a good day, too. I'm so glad you have fun. Have fun, too. <laughs> Let me see. I think I actually have to go to my YouTube studio and end it that way. Let's find out. <laughs> it's pulling up. Oh, yeah, I do have to go there. Okay. One last bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. It's, it's frozen. It's frozen. 